Hello, my name is Eric Hall, Product Manager for BenchPress, and this video is intended to familiarize you with the new author grid that we will be rolling out to your BenchPress sites. The new author grid will be available in your development site before it goes live, giving you ample opportunity to explore the features and functionality in more detail. We have redesigned the author grid to accelerate the submission process and to account for manuscripts with long author lists. What you see here is the author entry step in the submission process, and we know this from the signposting on the left. We are using the small animal veterinary journal environment for this demo, but the author grid we install for you will conform to the configurations particular to your site. So the first thing we're going to do is click the Add Author button. And here we are presented with a bunch of author fields. All author fields in the Add Author interface, including required fields, will match those you already have in place. The first thing I'm going to do is enter the details for my first author. Because this author has registered on BenchPress and your site, the user will be prompted to autofill the fields below with information from their BenchPress profile. You'll see that one of the fields was automatically populated with an ORCID. This is only possible if the user associated their ORCID with their BenchPress profile, which they can do in the personal information area of BenchPress. ORCIDs are not required, but we've made ORCIDs available to support this important initiative. If the author has not associated their ORCID with their BenchPress profile, they can be found by searching by name in the ORCID registry. Please note that ORCIDs that have not been associated with the user's BenchPress profile are not authenticated, and there is potential for assigning the wrong ORCID, especially for people with common names, so please select carefully. We encourage all users to authenticate their ORCIDs in the personal information area in BenchPress to take advantage of this extra level of security and convenience. By clicking Save, this author is now added to our author grid. The next author I'm going to add is myself. We've made this easy with this button up here, I am this author. And because I had to register on the BenchPress site and in your journal environment, BenchPress already knows who I am and can auto-populate these fields with information from my profile. I'm going to set myself as corresponding author. And you'll see when I save I'm now recognized as the corresponding author at the top of the author grid and in my author row within the author grid itself. The last author we'll add is Alice Author. And we know that Alice is not registered on the BenchPress site because when we type in her email address, we are not asked to autofill the fields below. But we can carry on entering her information. By clicking Save, Alice is also added to the author list. Now you'll notice we've added some important icons to the left of each author's name in the author grid. The first icon allows you to drag and drop authors in a different order within the author grid, and you'll notice the order number changes. And with long author lists, this is very important. We've also added the pencil icon, which allows you to go in and edit the author information you've previously entered. And the last icon is the trash can. And like most actions like this in BenchPress, you'll be asked to confirm the action. For manuscripts with long author lists, entering authors one by one is not practical. So we have provided submitters the ability to upload all of their information at once using the import authors functionality. And here we're given another window where we can download the template in tab delimited format, and then upload that template. And once done, the authors will appear here in the author grid. I hope this video was helpful. The new author grid will be available in your development site before it goes live, giving you the opportunity to explore the features and functionality in more detail. 
We will notify you via the customer portal or Salesforce when the new author grid is available in your development environment, and we'd be grateful if you could approve the work as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.